when I first started, it was a bit by coincidence that I had a friend who did it, so I went with him to do it. And then I found out that I was quite good at it, so that motivated me. But I think for me, the main value of judo is that it's the perfect combination of mind and body. Um, I think what I've learned from judo is to be disciplined, to work hard, uh, and to control your uh, yourself. And I think that is something that you take with you and your general approach to life and it's something that helps you a lot. Apart from that, it's the perfect way to keep fit. Uh, it keeps your whole body, uh, body fit. And I think you get addicted. So I'm addicted to, uh, to the feeling. Because even if it doesn't happen so often, the feeling when you get the perfect throw, when you really uh, are able to do exactly what you wanted to do and another person flies through the air and lands on his back. That feeling cannot be described and you want to do it again and again and again. So you always come back. I started the judo first at the age of nine in 1977. Uh, so I've done judo for uh, 30, almost 35 uh, years almost uh, non-stop. I had some periods where I've been posted abroad places where it's been very difficult to do uh, to judo, but most of the time I've had it with me all, uh, all the time. And in my work also as a diplomat it's very good because I get to meet people in the country where I work in a different way. Not only other diplomats or, or high-ranking people, but you get the feeling for how ordinary people uh, live and what, do, what their concerns uh, are. It's always been very rewarding for me to get to know people through judo. The great thing with judo is you can go anywhere in the world. And you can present yourself and you'll always be allowed to, to join the, the group. So it's like having a family all over the world. Yes, I think so, because I think the, the general way to approach a problem would, would be to always look for solutions and always be active and forward leaning without being aggressive. In judo you cannot be aggressive because then you then you lose. So you need to approach problems with a cool mind and I think that's also something you learn in judo. There's always there's always a way but you have to be persistent, you have to keep trying uh, and you have to approach other people in a, in a way which is disciplined and which shows respect for other people because that will also help you in, uh, in solving your so I think in, uh, in all ways judo is very uh, useful. Um, people always often ask me uh, what's the most important thing I learned in university. I think I learned many important things in university, but I think the reason I'm where, where I am now is because I'm a judo player, not because I went to university. I, I, I think especially for children it's, a, it's the perfect uh, sport. Because I think we talked a little bit about discipline. Children who go to judo, they will learn discipline. They will also learn uh, coordination. They will learn control of their uh, bodies. They will be able to control their own mind. Uh, and they will be able to use all their energy in a controlled way. So they will be able to fight flat out without hurting themselves or hurting, hurting anyone else. So actually, it's all experience shows that children who do judo, they'll be calmer afterwards because they've used their energies. So, uh, so I would recommend all, all uh, parents to, uh, to try. It's also a very good sport for adults, but it's much easier to learn when you're a child. Yes, I, uh, yes, I am. I'm, uh, I'm competing in... Uh, European and World Championships for old men. So uh, I've already been twice bronze medalist in World Championship for uh, for uh, old men and also in, uh, in European Championships. Also, I still do. Whenever I'm in Norway, I compete in national championships. So uh, I'm still able to to uh, compete with the with the young guys on a, on a national level. I mean, there are several elements. One is, I think it's very important to stay in shape. Uh, in my job, you get your most in, important assignments 
when you're between 40 and 60 years old, it means that if your body is not uh, working anymore, you cannot do your job properly. Uh, for me, I need a goal. So uh, by competing, uh, it gives my, uh, me a goal. Then I can find the time to, uh, to do some, uh, some training. And it's fun. I like the excitement. I, uh, I like competing uh, because it, it makes you focused. I'm not sure it, in that sense it really helps my job directly, but by being in good shape, by having a healthy lifestyle, I'm certain that you do a better job as well. You know, I, I think the old, uh, old uh, saying, a sound mind and a sound body, it still holds, uh, holds true. And I, uh, I think much in the same way I'm thinking about my own work, that you need to be physically strong in, in order to be able to do a good, uh, good job, in order to be able to focus on your studies. I think it's very important for children to have sports in, every, in order to be able to study well. So I think often people think that there is a competition between the time you use for sports and the time you use for school. I think it's the other way around. Because if children go and do sports, then they're able to sit still, to concentrate, to be focused when they, uh, when they study. And there's actually quite a lot of research going into this as well. And uh, it is very clear, children who do sports, they do better in, uh, in school. So really, recommend to Indonesian parents, do send your children to sport. It's even more important now than before, because now it's very difficult to move around in the city without using a car or without using a bus. So children, these days, they, they move much less. So do send them to sports. It will make your children more focused, it will make them happier, and it will also make them more successful in the, in the end.